Holy crap, Twitch Daddy Prime is live! Ah! Time to rise, bringing you a update for Diablo 3. The new season 17 will be coming out. Um, as of yesterday, the PTR just dropped with 2.6.5, which is the nightmare season. We are going to be running no set bonuses this season um probably moving up we will be just to get to our ancients that we need to be at um as of right now uh you're running no ancients that way ever no sorry <laughs> no set bonuses that way every ancient you have will increase your damage dealt by 750 percent and reduce the damage taken by four percent as of right now i am running the wave of light build for the luck because it's what was i was running last season and a majority of the stuff that we had anyways was already non-set bonus so this is what i am looking at right now i have a couple pieces that i'm looking to switch out but this is what i have right now kind of running into the game so um i gotta get rid of that stuff coming up but right here i'm using we'll go over my gear oh, i'm gonna go over my cube and then my talents that i have running forward just to show what we got all right so we're using the kirishiro's blade which gives us the wave of light a bonus and then increases the damage um from the initial impact and then the crudest boots that way it increases two it gives me two of the spirit mystic allies um the rabid strike which allows me to have another mimic of me during epiphany um for an extra wave of light and then this is some pants that i just picked up kind of just running with them for now to see what's going on but they're ancient that's my big thing for them that way you're getting that extra set of 750 percent um i'm using the covenant of the elements that way we get that extra elemental bonus for when it comes around to that fire because we're using the fire element for our wave of light and that way you can crush some rift guardians um we are running unity this build right now um i have not gotten around to making it better <laughs> this build right now is a little rough for how squishy you are um you got to make sure you're keeping your distance so you do not die um damage wise i'm using the belt the witching eye hour it is the highest damage um you can get for a belt because you get that extra critical critical hit damage um mage fist just because it's that increased fire damage for your wave of light um cinder coat which is not an ancient legend ancient legendary because i have not come across an ancient legendary one um recently with three gem sockets but you using that for the reduced cost of the fire skills which is your wave of light and then we have the pinto's pride which is going to be your slow and the increased damage to your wave of light but the slow is crucial for the bane of the trap for the increased damage for that um this is a necklace that i came across that is just one that i'm using for now i'm not looking to keep it i'm looking to go move forward into maybe a hellfire amulet or some kind of immunity amulet and then we have the helm for the wave of light build that way you can cast it forward plus it increases the damage of your wave of light and then the shoulders for your cyclone strike to reduce the damage that you get given to you all right long-winded speech um i am paragon 921 right now um i just poured it over a character just to test out some different builds right now for ptr and this is my skill set right now using wave light explosive light so it is fire damage um probably your best room clearing ability for sure uh, mystic ally air that way you get a burst of spirit every time you need to activate it plus it increases spirits regeneration is which you will consume quite a bit of during this build um epiphany with the desert shroud to increase your durability um epiphany is what this build epiphany wave of light is what this build centers around just because 
you pop that epiphany and then you get that mimic from your rapid strike of your wave of light and that increases your damage by so much dashing strike is your blinding speed on that one that way you increase the damage it gives you a little more durability so you're not getting one shot at every time you dash into a room um serenity is your big oh shit button um i have put ascension on it that way my oh shit button lasts a little longer because i like to jump into stuff i should not <laughs> Um, as of right now, uh, Mystical Force Cyclone. Um, it is the electrical or lightning um, version of the Cyclone. It reduces the spirit amount on it, and it also reduces the amount of damage you take via your shoulders that you have on here. Right now, for my passive skills, I got the Guardian's Path. Uh, Harmony. For the increased resistances near, chance, near death experience, just because... You're going to use that a few times in the higher risk for sure. Um, reduce all cooldowns by 20%, which is very crucial. Um, we're going to run an 80 greater rift right now to show you the damage output. That way it's not too much of a struggle and it's a pretty easy clear um, with this one. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. I usually just start popping my epiphany right off the bat. Let's see if I can keep it rolling. Hey, look at that. I leveled up. Um, one of the cool things that you can do, so that was an elite pack that you haven't been able to do with the previous Wave of Light build if you weren't high enough to... Yeah. Poison. Yeah, I'm probably... Uh, there we go. There's the death. Squishy. I hate poison. Poison aspect. I'm probably going to get a... I'm probably gonna do a neck to where I'm immune to poison in the future. Um, but with this, if you weren't high enough to run the cyclone for the last one, you're probably running a, a couple different builds on it. But one of the cool things about the epiphany with the cyclone strike is that you would no oh, Jesus that you would be able to teleport yourself you can teleport yourself without having to because usually with epiphany it'll teleport you to wherever you click um, but with a wave of light build it did not do that because you were not directly attacking you were casting Which was a very, very detrimental part sometimes because you got stuck after your dashing strikes were on cooldown and stuff. Ooh, I'm getting wrecked. Poison has always just destroyed me every time. People need to calm down. Jesus. Oh. The latency is not helping me at all on this either. Because you move out of that stuff and you're still just dying. So that's the one thing that has been kind of a rough one for PTR, but... Sorry about this poor show of gameplay. I have messed up a few times trying to record this already and first couple times I went real well through here and then I get the poison <laughs> but we'll roll with this one it's not too bad it's just positioning wise where I'm messing up positioning is gonna be very key in this one but yeah you want to try to keep that epiphany up as much as possible Oh god, I'm dead. The storm breaks. Ooh, that was close. Towards the end here, 
Rift Guardians are quite hefty. Even in normal 16 rifts right now. Oh, hello. Nope. So keep your distance. Always keep your distance. It's always been a plus with the wave of light that you can just sit around a corner and hit them. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. And then. Yeah. So, the one other thing I'm gonna show you guys is. You want to do the PTR to kind of get a feel, but you don't want to deal with all leveling and stuff like that. You can port over a character and then you can get gear as well pretty easy. Because one of the things they do in the PTR, let me get through this, is you go to this guy. Nope, this guy. And then he gives you all your PTR sets. So you have your every single set for your set bonuses and then you also have preset weapon packs for offhand main armament jewelry and the bag of fortunes which we don't get anything as a monk so it is not useful for us to use let's see what do i got what do i got hmm. come on cinder coat see awesome no gem sods <laughs> Uh, tis my life. Put it in there. Use that one for like a reroll. All right. So that was the main point of this video. Um, doesn't look like anyone had a patch out there right now for it, or a video out there right now for it. So I just want to record it and give you guys a little look-see thank you again for watching um this is time to rice signing out peace